Hello everyone, I am Rohit and in this video I am going to talk about that matrices. What is matrix in the service now and why do we need the matrix in service now? Let's understand in this video. Matrix is a very useful tool in the service now that can track and measure the performance. So let's see the first definition and then we'll go further on that. So in the service now, matrix are used to track and measure the performance and efficiency of various process, services and tasks within the platform. So this is the definition. So let's understand first the use case. You will probably understand further. So the first or very important use case is the mean time to resolution, first call resolution rate. So let's see in the service now how it works first. So let's say that you have a table called problem. So let me open this table called problem. Under this problem, let's say that there is a problem ticket has been created and I assign this problem to somebody okay so this problem is going to be assigned to particular user for example problem coordinator now this assigned to like uh, problem coordinator can be changed for example uh, from problem coordinator a to problem coordinator b the assignment will be changed from problem coordinator a to problem coordinator b now i want to know that for how much duration this problem coordinator works for particular uh, this problem or maybe I want to know that problem coordinator how much time spent for all this problem for specific duration okay so how we can measure that so I want to know from this time to this time problem coordinator A works right so I need to find out the duration uh, so how we can do that duration right for that we can use the matrices there are various other um, uh, use in matrices uh, to measure the duration like track and measure the duration but one of the ex simple example I am just giving you so let's understand one more time so this problem is assigned to problem coordinator A and maybe it going to assign to problem coordinator B I want to know that for how much time this a problem is assigned to problem coordinator A for that we are going to use the matrices and then we'll further discuss more on that okay so to create the matrices you have to go to this matrix um, definition so under matrix you can see the definition will open this matrix definition if you see that under incident there are a lot of uh, uh, fields or um, you know definition already created but for the timing I am going to create a new um, uh, matrix definition so table name I put that problem and right now we have a matrix definition on that problem state duration problem resolution so these two uh, definition are there for our use case we are going to create a new uh, matrix definition we'll click new button So first thing you can see that by default it generate a number which is the matrix definition number then the table name is set as a problem uh, because we selected that um, previously show we actually show match with that problem now here we just had to be select that field call assigned to and I'll put that name call and then simply save that one more thing that you can see that the uh, right side you have a type called um, field uh, value duration or script calculation you can put some script so that it can calculate so I'm not going to write the script at the moment so I'm just going to create a new matrix definition which is nothing but um, on the problem table and then field is assigned to let's save that so this matrix definition is created right now And under this matrices, you can see there uh, these matrix or instances. This will calculate under the related list. You will be able to see that some data inside there will be calculate that data. Okay, so I'm not going to refresh this page. This page or this uh, record will be remain there. What I'll do that I'll go and create a new problem. And um, at the moment, I'm going to say that assign to call problem coordinator A and then I just save now 
so once i save that so it means that this problem is going to be or this problem is assigned to a particular problem coordinator user now if i refresh here in this matrix definition you will see that it's create a entry as id equal to problem 4001 uh, you know here it's created that particular time and then start time is just now okay and you can see there is a one more uh, flag called calculation completed so this is false it means that this calculation is running now it's just started but it does not have any end time okay and then value is nothing but the particular user or the particular field value so we have created a field called we have created a definition under assign to so the value is for the assign to is right now the problem coordinator a now let's say that i am reassigning this ticket to problem coordinator b so problem coordinator works for 5 or 10 seconds and after that he thinks i am not able to do that or i am not able to uh, complete this task so he reassigned to problem coordinator b and simply save that so once this value changes under assign 2 you can see that the value changes from problem coordinator a to problem coordinator b you will be able to see one entry new entry called uh, previously it was one now it has two now the first record that this record was created earlier so problem coordinator a so this is uh, started on 6 uh, 54 and then it is ended uh, sometime like just now and how much time the problem coordinator works for this task problem coordinator works for one minute you can see this person works for one minute okay for problem 4001 so now from this table we understand that for this problem this person work for one minute and this person task is done this person is still working so this is started just now and this is uh, not yet end so this person is working now after some time maybe problem coordinator thinks no uh, I have done my part I am going to reassign to problem coordinator A to revalidate that and save that so what will be happen the third entry will be created you can see that the one more entry created here and start it now and then end time is um, empty so now what will be happen if you see that for this particular incident 4001 problem coordinator a works for one minute problem coordinator b works for one minute and problem coordinator a again assigned for and which is working again for some time right so they are working and it is um, you know still in uh, progress so this way we can actually calculate that our duration right so we know that which user is spending how much time for particular uh, problem so let's create one more problem and i'll show you a few more record in inside these uh, matrices so i'm going to create one more record let's say that uh, demo and save that and if i refresh here you can see that it is going to be assigned for 4002 the problem pointer one is started working and he will continue work uh, for certain reason a certain time um, let's say that um, after some time it's got assigned to problem pointer uh, c do we have c no we don't have uh, let's say that so this is another user called problem coordinator ATF so it is going to assign from problem coordinator A to problem coordinator ATF and he is uh, working for some time so this is he worked for 33 second um, and then this is the ATF user who is again working okay so this way we continuously monitoring that for which incident or what user is working how much time now go to the reports let's say that we are going to create a report so we'll go and then going to create a report here so this is the report where we are going to put the report name for example the report name is called 
so here what will select what will be the table name table name will not be problem table because we have to be report on this table under matrices table so let's open this matrices table and then the table name is called matrix underscore instance table where we can actually report that and these have a field called id these have a field called assign to table so these all are information are there so we'll copy this matrix instance and put that as it uh, our table name okay and here we need to put the condition what is the condition under the matrix definition uh, under this matrix instance the definition should be assigned to uh, duration so this is this name is nothing but the name we have defined under matrix definition this is nothing but the during the creation of that because this matrix instance or matrix instance table holds all these uh, you know all these matrix definition result so you can see for this matrix is these are the record but for other matrices there will be all this list of record under this table so we are going to define that I only need to be uh, you know uh, def definition which is my name so I'll put this is the definition name here called definition is and then we'll put this name so this is the definition and if we simply run that we'll see some record here so you can see that I have some records now I want to be, uh, you know, um, find out that which is calculation is completed. So we'll go and put that calculation is completed, is true, and then run that. So we got few records. You can see we got um, uh, some records. Now what we'll do? We'll do a reporting. So let's say that group by type, and then we'll use the pivot table for the timing and click next row so row will be in our row name will be id so we'll select id and then run so you can see for problem 001 there is a two record problem 002 there is a uh, you know one record now what we'll do we will under this column what we'll going to select that under this column we are going to select that from value and then run so now under this you can see that for um, problem 401 um, this has been one record which is works for problem quadrant A this has been one record which is working for problem quadrant B right so let's say we are going to add this called problem coordinator A again and save that so what will be happen a new entry will be created for problem coordinator ATF so this user problem coordinator ATF works for one time so because this I have reassigned so problem coordinator ATF is completed now I want to be complete this problem coordinator A also so what I'll do I'll assign this to problem coordinator B okay so let's understand what I am I mean to so for problem uh, you can see that uh, for these 4002 problem coordinator so if I show match with 4002 problem coordinator A works twice so he some uh, first time he spent 33 seconds then second time he spent 28 seconds so so some time he spends right so let's say if we go and then run report so problem coordinator A spent, uh, you can see here it have uh, basically twice. Now I want to know that how much time spent problem coordinator A uh, instead of the count two count. I want to know the the um, the the uh, percentage or I want to know the detail how much time he spent instead of two record. I want to know because he spent I can see that uh, 28 second and 33 second right so I want to sum up these two and see that so to do that I will change this aggregation to sum and on which field the sum is coming or duration is coming under this duration field so we are going to select that duration here and then run that 
so now what we can see that the problem quadrant a spent 2 minute totals um so for problem coordinator a for 4001 he spent 1 minute for 2 he spent 1 minute and similarly i can see that for 4002 incident uh this problem coordinator adf you uh, spent 4 minutes so total for problem coordinator for this 4002 problem i spent or the user or my user spent 5 minutes and um, all this total matrix completed in under 8 minutes so this way you can report more and more more further so this is give you a holistical uh, details like how much user problem coordinator a or problem coordinator b how much time they spent for each task how much time we spent all these details we can find out the next thing is that let's say that i want to be find out that um, you know problem details like what should be the short description or anything if we want to do that we can't do that so if i go here and then you can see id i can't do that because this id is nothing but a document type field if you show click show type is document i can dot work here or i can see that but i cannot dot work from uh, here so if you see that definition i can dot work because this is a reference field but id i cannot dot work because this is not a reference field it's a document type field so let's say that i want to populate here instead of problem number i want to populate the state i can't put that for that details we are going to discuss in our further upcoming video that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much